everyone, it's Hayes and they released the official trailer for Passion because why the heck not? <laughs> so let's quickly analyse it together but it's linked down below before I spoil it all for you now. So Natalie walks into Adrian's room and at first, I realise now this is just Adrian's covers, at first I thought it was a body bag on his bed, I thought it was a dead body in a bag. Tis not. <laughs> I think she's coming to wake Adrian, seeing he's not there, turns his alarm off, it seems to be going off without him and she's like, oh my god, where is he? She rushes to the kitchen and Adrian's just chilling there with his dad, although to be fair, strange sight because the man has an apron on and he's cooking. I didn't realise he knew how to do that. Not because I don't think men can cook, this is more of a, just like a comment about Gabriel in general. Like, what? Like, he couldn't even make time to talk to Adrian and now he's cooking the boy breakfast? What? What is this? So Adrian rushes off, possibly realising he's late for school, he runs out and Gabriel's like, ah oh, yes. It's me and my assistant who kind of have a thing for each other. This is great. We are one nice, happy, functional family. But the moment Gabriel Babes lays a single finger on Natalie, she is like, hey, no, mate, not today. Floors him. Stan. We stand a queen. So downstairs, Gabriel's like, well, my side piece didn't want to talk to me, so I'm going to go down and talk to my dead wife in the murder basement. And Natalie's like, you know what? Akumatize me. Akumatize me. So um, Gabriel Babes, as Monarch Daddy, gets the power of a horse, I would assume, to make a portal to send the Akuma through. And then he presses the goat button. <laughs> the goat button! He presses the goat button for the goat! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> presses the goat button to give Natalie the power of whatever it was to go again, and again, passion. I should know it's passion. It's the name of the episode. Get it together, Hazel. So we see Ladybug and Cat Noir through, I would think, like Natalie's um, kind of like telescope, binocular thing she's got going on with her weapon. And we see Time Tag is stood on the rooftops and we can see he's got all these different signatures everywhere. But when they land, he is gone. So I would assume he's some sort of illusion Natalie has created. I don't know. Or maybe someone else has created. Not really sure. But um, yeah, it makes sense. It's not the real him because Chris hasn't grown up yet. And I'm sure if he came back, Bunnix would be on the way. I don't know. So we also see Cat Noir defending Ladybug, which we've seen before. And then we know they go into the sewers to do a Kwame swap and they just generally run around saving the day. Fairly straightforward, to be honest. I'm assuming they win because this is miraculous. And then Natalie is looking through her phone at these videos of Emily about Gabriel and about how he is crazy and is losing his marbles. So right now my kind of thinking is that Natalie tried one way, she tried to help Gabriel one last time to get the Miraculouses and end this once and for all. But because that didn't work, she's like, okay, well that didn't work, he is a crazy man. I guess I gotta do anything to stop him because that's what Emily wanted. That's what I think is going on, besties. I'd love to know what you think. And I would say um, I put together a video later on with theories for this episode, but due to how close they all are, I don't know if that's going to be possible. But even so, I'd love to know what you think. All the air dates are on the screen and I'll see you in the next one.